Hi everyone, Mark Heath here, and in this video we're going to have a look at the zip related methods that are part of Morelink. And I'm running LinkPad, which is a great um, test tool for just trying out different link things. And I've added the Morelink NuGet package, which you can find on nuget.org. Um, and I'm using version three of Morelink. So you may be familiar with Link's zip method. Um, what I've got here is I've got two arrays, both have got five strings in them. So the first is an array of names of people and the second is an array of prizes. And the link zip method, if we say zip the people with the prizes, um, what it essentially does is it takes the first element from this list and the first element from this list and allows you to combine them to produce a new element. So here I'm combining the first person from people with the first person from prizes to just create a string that says uh, Ben wins a football. And then it will go on to the next one, Lily wins paints and so on. And it doesn't have to be another string I create, I can create any object here. So let's just have a look at what the existing zip method in link does. Okay, there we go. We can see all the diff five elements in the output and each person wins a prize. Now, what Morelink provides is three different zip methods, Equizip, Zip Longest and Zip Shortest. Equizip basically insists that the two lists should be the same length. And in this case, they are the same length. So if we run this, um, Again, Equizip, we can see, just gives us exactly the same output that link zip method would give us. Okay, so what happens if we have um, lists of different lengths? So let's say I've only got three packets of crisps, which is a problem because there are five people. So two people are going to miss out. If I just use link's regular zip method, and so zip the people with the crisps and print out a string saying that this person gets this flavor of crisps, Let's have a look at what happens then. So here we can see um, we just get a sequence of three items. Ben gets salt and vinegar, Lily gets cheese and onion, Joel gets ready salted. And it stops after three because there were only three items in the crisps list. And we would have got exactly the same results if we'd have done this the other way around. We said crisps.zip people. It just stops um, combining the two sequences after it's reached the end of either one of them. Now, if we were to try and equizip people and crisps, we will get a exception. So let's just um, run all of this again. And as you can see, Linkpad's telling us there's an invalid operation exception. The second sequence is too short. And so this is just giving us an extra safety net if we're trying to zip together two sequences and we know they should always have the same number of elements, this will help us um, realize that there might be a problem and throw an exception rather than just suppressing it, which is what the original zip, um, the link zip method would do. But let me just comment this one out again. Um, so there are occasions where you do want to zip together sequences that are of different lengths. And so Morelink has got zip shortest and zip longest. Zip shortest really just behaves exactly the same way as the regular zip um, zip method does, regular link zip method. And so if we run this and we look at the final one, link zip shortest, it just works exactly the same as um, the regular zip. However, this is this is nice in that you're being explicit in the method naming. You're saying that you expect these two sequences to possibly have different lengths and you are only wanting to zip until you've got to the end of the shortest one. What happens though if we use zip longest? Well, what zip longest does is it will keep going to the end of the longest sequence. Um, and so that raises the question of what does it provide in this selector function when you've got past the end of the crisps? Well, it will simply just provide the default value of whatever the type of that sequence is. So this is a sequence of strings. The default string is a null string. So when we get to the last two members of the people list, Sam and Annie, they will just get called with null here. So let's run again. 
and we scroll to the bottom and look at zip longest we'll see ben gets salt and vinegar all the way down to joel gets ready salted and then the last two elements we do omit them but because this is a null um, this just appears as an empty space here so as you can see it's just a nice little addition to the built-in link zipping capabilities that allows you to be explicit about whether you're expecting the two sequences to be the same length or not and how to behave if they're not the same length.